Hello, this is Bern, and on today's video, I'm going to be revealing seven signs that the guy you're interested in, excited about, into, is playing games with you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want and the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks and manipulation. Now, if you've been suffering from the ambiguity of, or the anxiety of feeling that the guy you're interested in, maybe he's your boyfriend, maybe he's just your date, is playing games with you, but you find yourself unable to pinpoint it and exit that situation, then this video is right for you. Before I get fully started, let me just share with you that if you want to learn in more depth than I have time for in this video, how to be pursued by quality men and how to go beyond the intellectual understanding of this into the embodiment of it. I've created a free masterclass that you can access by clicking on the first link on the description of this video. Just click on that link, you'll see a page that looks like this, enter your name and email and you'll start watching my free masterclass right away. Now the first thing I want to do is define what playing games is and who plays games with women, okay? So who plays games is simple. Men play, game, play games with women, but there's two types of men who play games. One, which is important to note, the minority of men who consciously, willingly want to harm women and either get something from them, like emotional connection for manipulation purposes and feeling powerful because their life sucks. Maybe they want to get sex from you. Maybe they want to get sex and money. Maybe a combination of all three. That's the minority of men in a category separate from the one I'm talking about right now, even though some of the signs will be clear. Now, I'm talking right now about the majority of men who are not consciously trying to play games with you, but through their confusion, their lack of understanding or emotional awareness, in fact, they are playing games with you. So how do you recognize what, when it happens? Well, the definition of playing games, in my experience, is when something feels intensely good, and then it goes away, and then it feels hopeful and intensely good again, and then it disappears or vanishes. So you go from extreme presence to dismissal, from excitement to where the hell is he and why is he ghosting me, from promises that make you feel incredibly special to an action that makes you feel somewhat worthless in that moment in his eyes. And the reason why it's so hard for so many women to avoid the situations is not because the guy is showing up with a dismissive attitude the whole time. If that were the case, it would be far easier for you to move forward. But when you have been in the desert, metaphorically speaking, for a few years or months, and someone shows you the right presence, attention, validation, connection, excitement, and you, your knees feel weak and your stomach feels excited, then it's harder for you to come up with a thought that that can go away. And what happens typically is the guy shows up super strong at the beginning, disappears, leaves you hanging, wanting more, shows up again, disappears, or some version of this. So the first sign that the guy is playing games with you is that he's so inconsistent and there's a range of emotions that typically go higher than the norm. So you're, and the reason why I say it's this is the definition is because it's easy for you to let go of someone who's mediocre all the time, but if he's strong and awesome and then dismissive, it's harder to let go of that. So that's the first sign. He, there's hot and call, up and down. He gives you something you need in the moment to get hooked, and then as long as you're, at uh, the moment you're hooked, he takes it away. And that's the definition of craving something more. Second sign that the guy you're into, interested in, is playing games with you is that he is confused. So there's three different things men are confused about, men who, men who play games and waste women's time. First thing he can be confused is about his own life. What does he really want? What is he really about? What is he here to do? Does he want intimacy or does he want something more low key? And sometimes if he's confused or if he's unstable emotionally in some way, he might crave something exciting one day and then not crave it the next day. He might crave the he doesn't want you to be with anyone else and then he, he wants to create that commitment but then he fears losing his freedom and he can't pull it off. So that's the first level of confusion. Second level of confusion, my dear, is about you. He might mistake you with a woman who has low standards 
and who he can play with and get excited and then dismiss. He might be confused about your level of worth and your boundaries. And let me just be super clear here because sometimes he's confused because you're showing up in a way where you're allowing him to show up this way. And the more you allow him to show up this way, the more he learns or gets trained that that's who you are, even though it isn't. Even though you have high standards, if you're not showing up with those high standards, then you're training him to show up in a dismissive way or to play games with you. Third level of confusion is about what creates happiness. The guy ultimately wants happiness and fulfillment, but if he confuses happiness with temporary pleasure, what might be more temporary pleasurable than seeking commitment, getting his emotional needs met in a second, getting his sexual needs met in a second, the conquest of someone who wants him without him having to invest the time, the energy, the depth. Right? So what creates pleasure isn't the same thing that creates long-term happiness. So if he's confused between happiness and pleasure, he's going to create situations in his life, in, in, including the way he connects with women, that validate his need for or fulfill his need for pleasure when the thing that's going to help him create happiness is more commitment and more responsibility because those two things and more service create something that pleasure doesn't create, which is meaning. When you have more meaning, the happiness is there for you. When you don't have meaning, it's an empty happiness. It's a temporary passage of excitement and then there's something missing. The third sign that he is playing games with you is that he is going to be ambiguous with his intent and ambiguous with his answers. So ambiguous means that he's not going to tell you what he's going for. He's going to omit that from the equation. He's going to show up in a way that his intensity you would believe that if somebody who shows up with that intensity, he probably wants to love a woman. He probably wants to commit to a woman, but he's not stating so. He's just kind of letting you show through his way he engages with you in chemistry more than anything. But he's ambiguous about what he wants. And if you ask him questions about himself, about his family, about his relationships, he shares just enough to not be dismissive, but doesn't go the distance and doesn't have clarity or specificity. The fourth sign that he's playing games with you is he's either not planning or planning poorly. And now, please understand that this could all be with the guys if it's so new and it's so exciting and I'm so spontaneous that I'm just calling you out of the blue at 11.30 at night asking you, what are you doing? Instead of calling you earlier and setting up a proper date to see you the next day at a time that doesn't reek of a booty call. Right? So he's either not planning anything, he's just being spontaneous and calling you when he feels the void in his life, he remembers and calls you when he gets that fulfilled, then he forgets about you a little bit. Not completely dismissive, but sometimes completely dismissive. So that's the kind of thing that shows you that he's playing game correctly. And what the things he does plan are things that don't have a vision of long term. Right? If a guy doesn't have long term vision, he'll never include you with his friends or will do that in a dismissive way. He'll never introduce you to people as someone he's interested in. He will show up, he'll plan poorly or he won't plan, and that will leave you feeling like you have to be the one reminding him, you have to be the one planning, and it starts feeling icky in that moment. Fifth sign that he's playing games with you is that, and this is important because this happens so often, his intensity and his words do not match his actions. And this is why it's so important because you get hooked emotionally with the intensity of his words, the intensity of his presence at moments, the intensity of the chemistry, and you say, well, obviously, if he's showing up that way, he's really interested in me, but if his actions, meaning what he's looking for in a relationship, the actions that a guy who's really interested in you would take, setting proper dates, introducing you to friends and family down the line, talking about what he wants and asking if you want the same thing, all those things, if he's not doing those things and just showing up, or if he's saying, I want something awesome, but he's not taking the steps, then again, that's playing games. Number six sign that he's playing games with you. He doesn't address the inconsistencies. He doesn't address the disappearances. He doesn't address the dismissive behavior. He doesn't address that disrespectful behavior. So he sets up a date for, let's say, he might say, for example, sign of an ambiguous guy who plays game. I love to see you this weekend. And you're thinking, yeah. And he says, maybe Saturday. Cool. And then Friday comes along, he hasn't messaged you. Saturday comes along, he hasn't messaged you. So you may be thinking that he had planned something strong and he hadn't, didn't come up with plans for that day. Maybe he calls you on Sunday and he doesn't even address that he didn't call you on Sunday. He like completely forgets that he 
call, that he was about to call you on that or Saturday, or he addresses it in a dismissive way. Someone who maybe doesn't call you for a week, as he's getting, he's showing up every single day, being excited, being connected, disappears for a week, shows back up and says, hey, how are you? As if nothing, as if it didn't matter that he's, he was stepping up and he disappeared with no signs of life, he just shows up again. Number seven, and again, this is, if you get this one, I think you'll, if nothing else, you'll connect with higher quality men. He's doing the bare minimum not to lose you versus the most he can do to progress along and get to know you. He shouldn't be doing the most to get to marry you at the beginning. He doesn't know you, but he, if he's interested in a relationship and he's interested in you and he's valuing you, he's gonna do more versus less to let it know. If he's just doing the minimum, but he's promising a lot and the intensity is kind of cool, again, that's a sign that he is playing games with you. Now, what can you do about this? If you notice that someone's playing games with you, the best thing you can do is remove yourself from the situation and either end it forever or let the guy know that when he gets his consistency in play, when he really shows up in a way that's, when he's ready to show up in a way that is more consistent, more respectful, more long-term vision, that you might be, might be open to it, but the way he's showing up right now is a no thank you from you. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, and you wanna learn how to go deeper than I'm sharing with you in this video, please go to the first link in the description of this video, click on that link, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to my free training. If you enjoy this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. When you hit the little bell, you'll be notified of new episodes as they come up. And last but not least, if you've been listening to my videos and other people's videos, if you've been trying different things and nothing's really getting you what you want, and I'm talking you've gone to therapy perhaps, you've watched other people's videos, you've read books, you've done yoga, you've gotten some emotional cleanses, and you're still stuck on this low quality challenges that I'm describing right now, then you might highly benefit from customized support, hand-holding, and help. If you wanna find out if I can help you and we can be a great match to work together, second link in the description will allow you to apply to connect with me and if we're a fit, take this forward and guide you and hold you by the hand as you enter the world of relationships healthy, in a healthy and sustainable way. Thank you so much for connecting with me. I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your voice. I appreciate your time. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.